You know, there is a doorbell. But failing that, there's the age-old custom called knocking. Well, I didn't want you to have to get up. Not get up? I'm not a cripple yet, Elizabeth. I didn't have any of those biscuits you like. You know the ones with the cream in the middle? So I got you some other ones instead. Didn't ask you to get me any. The girl on the checkout said they wouldn't get any in until Thursday. I don't think she really knew though. Must have only been about 18. Nice enough though. Made me feel very old. You make me feel old, fussing about me all the time. Anyway, I'll pop back on Thursday and get you some more. Probably get you two packets just to be on the safe side. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? I don't want you to get me any bloody biscuits. I always get them for you when I do your shopping. I can do my own damn shopping, thank you very much. I'm not housebound, you know. I just thought it would be easier for you. Sorry for trying to help. It's not help that I need. I'm not some blubbering damsel in distress waiting for a hero to come and save me. around you're gonna break something and take them shoes off the filthy. Stop fussing the lad woman. Watch your granddad today Charlie, he's in a bit of a grump. If I'm in a grump it's because you put me there. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at you, you're getting taller day by day. So that's every time you see me granddad. Oh do I? Oh well must be because it's true. Mum says it's because I'm a broccoli, it makes me strong. Mmm she makes me eat broccoli too, never could stand the stuff. Not making me any stronger either. What we got here? This is Velocity Man. He's the fastest hero on the planet. And he can fly. And fly a laser beam to his eyes. He can do all these things, can he? Yep, and he can jump higher than the clouds. Oh, of course he can. You like superheroes, do you, lad? I've got all the comics. Oh. Well, Charlie, my lad, I used to be a bit of a superhero fan myself, back in the day. This is my favourite superhero. Mr. Wonderful! Strong, fast, and very, very brave. Mr. Wonderful. He really was your favourite? He was brilliant, and he always beat the bad guys. He even defeated the greatest villain of all time. The evil. Dr. Derange. <laughs> Some things are inevitable, Mr. Wonderful. You are going to die. Not today, Derange. He's a real hero. That's why Mr. Wonderful's my favourite. He never gave up. But then one day, he just disappeared. What do you think happened to him, Grandad? What do you think I was doing, Grandad? <sighs> Same thing that happens to everyone, I suppose. He got old and weak and useless. But Mr. Wonderful, I think he's still out there, somewhere, ready to make his big comeback. You really think so? Charlie, come a little closer. I've got a secret to tell. Well, what is it, Charlie? Grandad just told me he used to be Mr. Wonderful, the superhero. <sighs> Go and play outside, darling. I won't be long. <coughs> what are these, Dad? What? I don't know. I haven't seen him before. They're the pills you got from the doctor. Well, if you know what they are, what are you asking me for? Well, you haven't taken them. I don't need any bloody pills. Dad, we've talked about this. They're for your memory. There's nothing wrong with my damn memory. Oh, so you didn't forget about your doctor's appointment? What is this? I don't understand. You're, you're... You're confusing me. The doctor said you've missed the last two appointments. That sodding doctor. I remember him all right. He's not to be trusted. Dad, I know you find it hard accepting help from others. But you're not as strong as you once were, and like it or not, your memory is fading. You need to see the doctor and get help. The pills. The pills. I'll take the bloody pills and it'll keep you off my back. Look, I've got to go. I love you. Remember to take your pills. 
And stop telling people you used to be a superhero. You're a scaffolder, Dad. Biscuits. Get this. Yeah. Watch it, Grandad. You all right there? I want to get my biscuits. Um, this is a comic book shop. There's a supermarket just around the corner. Right. Yeah, what are you looking at your kid? The one. give you to a count of ten to return that property you've stolen. Who the hell are you? I'm Mr. Wonderful, and I'm not afraid of you. Well, I'll give you something to be afraid of. Not today, criminals. His lucky his injuries are only superficial. He should be back on his feet again in a few days. Thank God. Has he told you what happened? No, but then their father can be terribly stubborn like that. The guy at the shop said he tried to tackle a couple of shoplifters or something. Well, needless to say, he shouldn't be trying to tackle anyone in his condition. You try telling him that. He thinks he used to be a superhero. Superhero? Yeah, I think he actually believes it. Mm, this could be a sign that his condition's getting worse. I've never quite heard of a case like this before. Let's book him in for some more tests. Can't be missing any more of your appointments, Mr. Wilful. And you have to take your pills. What pills? I don't need any pills. Who the hell are you, anyway? I'm your doctor, Mr. Wilful. I'm trying to make you better. You're the one who's been clowning my daughter's head, telling her I'm sick, that I'm weak. You are sick, Dad, remember? There's nothing wrong with me, woman. All a lot of fuss over nothing. I would like to run some more scans, just to be sure. Scans? Scans and pills? What's in it for you, Doctor? What are you getting out of all this? A healthy patient, I would hope. But that's not going to happen unless you accept help. I don't trust him, Elizabeth. He has the face of a sneak and a liar. Dad! It's all right. But I don't really care if you like me or not. And you can change your doctor if you wish. But they will all tell you the exact same thing. Some things are inevitable, Mr. Wilful. You are going to die. 
Unless you start taking your pills. Some things are inevitable, Mr. Wonderful. You are going to die. No. It's impossible. It, it can't be. Dad, what's wrong? I watched you die. Mr. Wilful. I know who you are. Elizabeth, I remember who he is. I'll stop you again if I have to. Doctor Deranged. Excuse me? Well, don't try to deny it. You can't hide it from me. How long has it been deranged? 40 years or more? You still look the same. How is that possible? You shouldn't exist. I saw you die all those years ago. How are you here? Elizabeth, what's going on? What am I doing here? Mr. Wilson. Don. This is all part of your condition. You're sick and you need to take your pills. You need to concentrate on reality. Your daughter, your grandson. You had a wife and family. I am not your nemesis. You are not a superhero. You're right, I wasn't. I retired a long time ago. But now I'm back and ready to defeat you one last time. Mr. Wonderful, for years I've waited for this day to find you, to confront you once again. Imagine my disappointment when I found you were nothing more than a pathetic old man. There's fighting me yet deranged. But you are still old, sick and weak. Whereas I am in my prime, stronger than I ever was before as the bringer of doom and the creator of despair. Doctor Deranged. And ever since my return to life, I've been plotting to end yours. The pills you gave me, they were poison. All you had to do was take them. You would have died peacefully in your sleep. <laughs> But now, you will suffer! Not today, Deranged. Dad? Dad? What's going on? Did I fall asleep? Where are we? We're still at the doctor's office. I thought I'd lost you for a moment <sighs> then. Come on, it's time to go. Right. Steady. Oh. No, no. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. See you in a few days. Don't miss your next appointment, Mr. Wilful. And remember to take your pills. Yes. Of course. The pills. Here we are, Dad. You be okay by yourself? Yeah. Mm. I don't like leaving you on your own. Why don't you think about moving in with us? We could look after you. Moving? No, this is my home. I can look after myself. I'm not a cripple yet, thank God. Yes, you've said this before. Have I? Well, you would know, wouldn't you? I'm not a child, Elizabeth. I don't need you looking after my every move. I am not getting into this with you now, Dad. Hmm. I am so sick of arguing with you. Look, I need to go. I need to pick up Charlie from school. Who? Charlie? My Charlie? Your grandson. Grandson? Oh. 
No. No, of course. Of course, Charlie, my, my grandson. Of course, of course. Last week, I was watching the television. Tuesday, I think. And I happened to notice my old photo album. You know, the one with the leather cover. It brought a smile to my face. I haven't seen it for such a long time. But when I opened it, the photographs could have been blank sheets of paper. They meant nothing to me at all. I, I, I didn't remember the, the places or the events or, or the celebrations. And there was a, a woman, a beautiful lady, and I couldn't think why I couldn't recall her face. And as I looked around the room, I saw her in every frame. And I remembered. It was your mother. I'd forgotten who she was. My own wife. Dad, it will be okay. We'll get through this together. And with the help of your doctor. What doctor? Your doctor, Dr. Range. No, not that doctor. There's something wrong with him. He's deranged. Dad, he's not some comic book villain. Isn't he? Maybe you're right. Maybe it's this bloody illness. But I have to fight it. I do. That's the spirit, Dad. You, you go on, because you'll be late. OK. I'll call you later, all right? Mm -hmm. I love you. And Dad, keep fighting. Fighting. What am I fighting? Deranged. and your arthritic bones. Everyone gets old, deranged. No, not everyone. You're just a forgotten page in the history books. Whereas I, 
I am the future. My mind will never cloud. I will never age. I am perfection. Perfection? We'll see how perfect you are when I stop you. Once again. <laughs> Wisdom comes with age, Lorraine. And you had very little of that to begin with. Wisdom? We'll see how wise you are when you're begging on your knees. Oof. Beg for me, wonderful. Beg me not to end your insufferable life and the lives of every other geriatric old fool. After all this time, you still haven't learned. I never beg. You're still a deluded fool. You always have been and always will be. This, coming from the man who doesn't know what's real or make believe. Don't make me laugh. Ah, I'm aware that all this may be in my mind. And that you are the personification of my slippery path into madness. But I will stop you. You can't stop me, old man. I'll rid the world of you. You and every other old bag of bones. You need to respect your elders, boy. Give it up, Deranged. It's over. <laughs> no! <laughs> We've been here before, wonderful. Or is your mind so fried that you can't remember it? Go ahead. Throw it at me like you did all those years ago. Throw it. Throw it! Not today, deranged. Sir, I've told you, you can't be down here. Come on, come with me. Oh, right. Now, is there anyone I can call for you? Um, no, I don't. Yeah, my, my daughter, um, Elizabeth, she... she she should be at, at home with my grandson. There you go, Dad. Oh, look at you. You're getting taller day by day. You said that every time you see me, Grandad. Do I? Oh, I didn't realise. Still, you'll have to get used to it. I'm moving in with you soon. I can't wait to have you stay with us. We can read comic books and play superheroes together. You can't be pestering your Grandad all the time, Charlie. You stay with us to get some rest. There you go, Dad. Oh, oh it's no bother. I used to be a superhero fan myself when I was younger. I got you some of those biscuits you like as well, Dad. Thank you, love. For everything. Well, these boxes won't pack themselves, will they? Dad, is that your doctor? Charlie, turn it up. After it was discovered, he was prescribing his elderly patients with illegal and tested drugs. Oh, come on, you want to go to the case? Uh, they're all costing us too much as it is. They're a drain on the NHS. They're sick. Weak hours of putting them out of our misery. 
I'm just helping them along. All right, sit down. It would appear that the doctor has been prescribing these illegal pills to a number of his patients for a few years. We're not sure how many have been affected by him. My God. Well, um, it would appear it was an anonymous tip-off. Um, someone left his briefcase on the receptionist's desk when they opened it to see who it belonged to. They found the pills. The face of a sneak and a liar. That's what you said. I said that? I don't recall. Well, you were right all along. I need to ring the hospital and find out what we're supposed to do next. And Dad, don't take any more of those pills. Was he a bad man? Hmm. Turns out he was. A real villain. Who stopped him, Grandad? Who found those pills? I don't know, but whoever it was must have been wonderful. <laughs>